precise timekeeping is essential to safely operate in the maritime industry just as it is with the railroads. This is an image of the master clock and control panel that was installed at Balboa Heights on the Pacific side of the Panama Canal. They were made by the Self-Winding Clock Company of New York. These clocks were installed in the 1920s and replaced in 1956 with a more sophisticated system. The centerpiece of any synchronized time system is the master clock. This one master clock advanced all slave clocks and synchronized all subsidiary clocks at Balboa Heights. There was a similar clock system at Cristobal on the Atlantic side of the canal. This second speeding master clock is very accurate. It has a mercurial compensating pendulum and accuracy would be within a second a day. With the dial removed, the inside of the case reveals a myriad of electrical components designed to operate a very large synchronized time system run by a self-winding clock company style F movement. The accuracy of the master clock is essential in a synchronized time system. The master clock was checked every day against an audible time signal transmitted from the Naval Observatory in Washington, D.C. If any correction was needed, the second hand was electromechanically moved to the minute. The daily synchronizing of the master movement is the focus of this video. The synchronizing coils are on the right of the movement. For display purposes, the movement is running five seconds fast, so it will be easy to see the second hand reposition. There, the second hand is moved precisely to the minute. If the clock is correct, the second hand would not be repositioned. Now that we have seen the daily synchronization, I would like to close by identifying the clock synchronizing contacts on this movement. The slave clock contact is at the 12 o'clock position, and the subsidiary contact is on the left. When installed, this was the most sophisticated time system available.